Hi there. While I was surfing around, uh, yeah, I was on BitChute, looking at what videos are popular right now, and there was a video from Carl Benjamin complaining that there is a daytime talk show host, I can't remember his name, I don't really pay that much attention to daytime talk show hosts, but uh, complaining because that daytime talk show host was coming out of the closet and people are calling it brave. And he's like, nobody cares. I don't care. It's just like, well, just because you don't care doesn't mean that there aren't a bunch of others who seem to have a problem with it. You know, there's a reason why people are called brave if they're in the public eye for coming out of the closet. There's still a lot of taboo elements to coming out as gay. And being gay isn't just about sex. It's about who you, who you love, who you want to spend the rest of your life with. You know, if you're straight, you can whip out your wallet and show pictures of your significant other, and no one, you never have to worry about anyone making a big deal about it. But in this time where, you remember the show Arthur on PBS? There's huge groups of people that want to boycott PBS just because they, they had a gay wedding. They featured a gay wedding. There wasn't any, they didn't go and they weren't preachy or anything like that. There just happened to be a gay wedding. And people want to boycott PBS over that. There's still a number of people out there who have a problem with it. Youth, people that try to come out as youth, get disowned and kicked out of the house by their family. People put on the street because they came out of the closet. And you're saying, well, they should just stay in the closet. Would you stay in the closet if it was taboo to be straight? Would you want to stay in the closet? Would you hide who it is that you love? Would you hide that? No. And I just... You know, originally I made a different version of this video where I clipped to... to Carl Benjamin a bunch of times, and it's just like, there's no point in putting him in the video. Besides, YouTube might consider that harassment in some way, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to put clips of his video on it. I'm just going to make this video and just say, hey, you know, there's still a taboo element to people being gay. Sure, Pete Buttigieg is out of the closet, but look at what happened at what this, this recent caucus. Uh, this lady... Uh, it made it on the news. This lady originally was voting for Pete Buttigieg, and then when she found out that he has a same-sex partner, she, she, she took back her vote. You know, this sort of thing still goes on. And, and then that's people on the left still. This, this is dealing with people on the left. The right wing, it's really common, I'm sorry, it's really common to have a negative view of gay people if, from the, the right wing. You know, there's a number of people who, ha who are socially on the right who look at homosexuality as degeneracy. And there's a whole shit ton of religious people who view it as something that will make someone burn in hell for eternity. You know? So, to claim that, oh, it's not brave for some public figure to come out of the closet, it's like, yes, it is. It's still brave. We still live in a world where there's a lot of people who hate gay people. No, oh, they don't really hate them. They just they just think they'll burn in hell for eternity. Yeah, that's not that's not hate, right? Oh, they just think it's degenerous. Oh, yeah, that's that's not hate, right? Come on now. Let's not be silly here. Okay, let's be realistic here. Anyway, I guess that's all I got to say.